right guys welcome back stop number two in Lewisburg we're at the Silver Moon let's go in here and see if I can find anything for a live sale or something that I can resell on eBay or vamp or take to the shop or add to the collection all right wish me luck so let's start with these guys look at these little goobers these are little blow mold monks and they're light covers well they're different looks like they're $14 not much I could do with those, but they're definitely different. All right, I'll be back. Almost missed her. Oh my gosh, look at this poodle. Oh, she's thirty-five dollars. Can't do that. Well, I think you see it, and I see it. There's a little nip on it. Let's see how much it is. Now $85. Now, there we go. Now it focused. $85. Oh, gnarly chip right there on the head. <sighs> Guys, if you've never seen one of these in person, <sighs> the camera don't do them justice. And I'm loving that Santa Fairy lamp. $74 if there was a discount. Little Latticino shoe. Murano. Not bad prices if you're a collector. And this melon this color is always popular I don't think they made a lot of that purple oh look at this fused glass oh that's neat it's got a good 50s kind of feel to it even though I think it's a little newer only 12.50 who made that let's see who made that here on the bottom focus glass works Northwest might do a little research on that I'm sure the dealer did too so might do a little research on that that's a neat little piece it's a little more contemporary it turns out their pieces sell for like $50 so you know what at $12.50 that's got a good look to it I think we're gonna try it because at the very least I should be able to double my money and do 24 on it so gonna give that a try it's got a good good look to it so found something we'll give this one a try this is a really fun booth here oh look at the velvet cat down there this is a really really neat booth this seems to be the way a lot of the antique booths are these days especially being an owner of one this is what you're seeing it's a mix of that mid 60s now boho kind of into the 1980s so i'm here for it really neat booth but so far we just got the piece of fused glass <clears throat> pardon me at 12.50 like i said we'll give that a try now, it's my weakness christmas cards and they're only 50 cents each so i think i'll really, i think i'll flip through them really really quick but here this is a pretty neat booth Again, I hope I'm not panning too fast. There's some hankies down below there. Still some Christmas out up here. Look at this big chalkware piggy. Carnival prize. Alright, I'm going to quickly leaf through these cards. i got to get moving. i got one more place I want to stop at. Oh, I see some Valentine's uh, candy boxes. They look a little new, but at least we're seeing it. Okay, you guys, here is a little moon and star. It's a little ruffled compote. You don't see these that often, so I do think for $15 I'm going to pick that up because that's actually worth $30. So it's actually worth more than that, but I think I can get $30 for it. So I'm going to pick that up, and that's a darker color blue by Ellie Smith. So I think we'll get that today, too. All right, guys, my hands are getting pretty full, but like $6.99? In the original box, there is some wear. Oh yeah, I think we're gonna grab that too. Right, you guys, I'm not sure about this one. It's $24.95 and it looks like the booth is doing 20% off. If it's cash or check, and I don't have cash. So it's gonna be $25. And I didn't bring checks with me, so I don't know. We might have to leave this little guy here. He's super cute, and I got enough rubber faces right now, enough plush, but I thought it was worthwhile showing. And let me show you the rest of the booth here. I see a nice piece of 
biking back here. I'm loving the blues for this time of the year. Okay. Oh, wait. That's not Viking. That's Arclass. Okay. 14. But from a distance, it looked like Viking. So, we're going to put that back in there. Look at these glass figurines. Alright, guys. I'm going to keep on going. Here's what we got so far down here in the basket. Okay. Okay, this is a really fun case. Look at everything in here. And of course, I see the one little Christ Carroller. But this is a fun case. It does have a lot of newer things mixed in with it. A little home co in there. But this was always one of my fun booths at another antique mall that had closed. If you guys were familiar with the sled works, this dealer had a pretty epic holiday booth there. So, really neat booth. But I want to come over here and show you guys this sassy. Look at this sassy pig. That's one sassy coin bank. That's a big old piggy bank. Still no, no large amounts of valentines. Alright, I'll be back. Alright guys, this looked like a fun booth. Look at that rubber or that squeak down there. So this looked like a fun booth. These are some of my favorite. These are like the non-traditional colored gingerbread boy and girl. Usually they're green. So they're different. I'm happy to see them. And this booth is 15% off. Gotta check out all those little bags. But still, haven't found anything Valentine's Day. Gosh, if I think it's hard finding the Valentine's Day, it's going to be hard to find the St. Patrick's Day. So... All right, I'll get back to you. Gosh, these jewel brights, they're $12 each. Okay, all right. All right, oh, there's a po Apollo glasses. If I never see another one of those. All right, we'll be back. All right, guys, we found some Valentine's Day. These are the little cake, cupcake toppers. And then there's a bunch of Valentine's in here. But nothing too the, too great. Nothing too great. And they're a little spendy for me to buy for resale. But I did find some Valentine's Day. Oh my god, I had to share with you that bear. He's made of chenille. Oh my god. Too good. Alright, some more anthropomorphics. Look at these little mushrooms. They're 30. Not bad for a collector. But nothing that I can do with them. So... And then we have, I think this is celery. I think they're the little celery guys. They're 45. You caco. Oh, it's only 25% off Christmas. All right. Good to see those. My, my motto is no hold Howard left behind. But 95, going to have to let them behind. And the goofy couple there, they're always fun to see. They're kind of jigging and dancing. And then those cute little pups there they're kind of cute too but these are even a little too high for a collector so but it's still good to see them all right guys looks like i found some easter it's a little more contemporary looks like it's a little uh a lot of hobbyist a lot of studio made so but nothing for me but if y'all don't like the cold winter at least this will warm you up a little bit with these colors they always get me ready for spring and summer all right, guys, I always love seeing the mid-century Stangle pottery. That's got a really neat look to it. I think it's for both pieces. Let's see how much it is. Sit that down there. Uh, if it's for both, we might get it. Set of two, $9.99. I'd show you. Hold on here. The set is $9.99. Oh, yeah, we're going to do that. Yep, we're going to add them to the... Add them to the basket. Those are really neat. Those are two sculpts you don't ever see. That's a good find. Okay, as I was putting it in the basket, there's a little nip on that. But honestly, that's that's still a good price. That's like $5 each. So we're going to add those to the basket. And I think if I can offer them at a cheap price, I think that'll be forgivable. 
Oh my gosh, you guys. Look how fantastic she is. Look at how fantastic she is. Oh my god. Hold on, how much is she? The music's pretty loud here. All right, she's $10. I think we're going to have to get her. She's fantastic. Hold on, let me get her in view. Yeah, we're going to have to get her. All right, you guys, look at those figurines. I have some of those. And you get all three of them for $49. That's a really good price for a collector. And then these Joseph Poinsettia girls, they're each $49 each. That's a pretty good price for those. I'm going to keep on moving. Today is the day of the anthropomorphic. Oh, gosh, look at those. And 25 is a really fair price on those. Oh, she's missing her boyfriend or the taller one. There's a lot of fun stuff in this booth. Let's go back this way together. I don't want to knock into anything. Here's the cart, or should I say basket shot a while. So. Oh. You know, and they're priced really good. Those are really good prices for somebody who collects. And then the paint by numbers back there. Oh, this is a fun booth. Look at those rooster shakers. Gosh, I can just not get enough of salt and pepper shakers. So let's walk back here. Let's see what's in this corner. Oh, hey, hold on here. There's a little celluloid baby toy. Okay, man, this is a fun booth. I'm going to have to walk through here again. Well, it looks like we found something Valentine's Day. $17.50. going to have to take a look at that. Some little anthropomorphic guys in there. We have a little mohair poodle, it looks like. <sighs> $17.50. I don't know. At least I found something Valentine's Day. So here. A little more contemporary. All right, guys. So, I'm going to give you a view down the aisle in this booth. It's a little narrow, so I'm going to check out this planter. $17.50. All right, I'm going to check it out, and I'll let you know if I get it or not. That is a neat one with the cherub. I just don't know. I just don't know. $17.50. It does have a little discoloration to it. But, I mean, a good reseller, you have to make sure you get it for half of what you're going to try to sell it for. That's just being a good reseller, and it's $17.50. I don't know if I could start at $34 $35 and make any money. But this stuff, as you can see now, I've already been to a couple malls today, and this is the only real substantial ceramic Valentine's Day planter I found. So it's very apparent that this is getting just as hard to find as Halloween. I don't know. Let me finish out shopping and uh, I'll see if we're going to get it or not. I don't know. Honestly, who doesn't love a good e-pern? Look at this. And this is like in the diamond pattern. Milk glass. $50. I mean, 50 is not bad. Put that as your centerpiece with some reds and pinks in that. I'd fill the bottom with some conversation hearts. But I just think 50 is a little too high for me. So, it's fun to see. Oh, that booth that has the uh, Cherub Valentine's Day planter and has these little Mr. and Mrs. Claus on a sled. They're so neat. Correction, they have sled. I think they're on skis, but they're still neat. All right, guys. You saw everything that I picked up. I am going to pass on the Valentine's Day planter. I just don't think the cherub is a great, great, uh, I just don't think it's going to be very desirable. It's not like one of the girls or anything. I am going to put the salt and pepper shakers back because I realized I already have a set from my haul the other week to sell. But here, I'm going to get her. So she'll be coming to an upcoming live sale. We're going to go ahead and still get the moon and star, the two stangle pieces, the fused glass, and then the uh, two cards for 50 cents each. So, okay, not too bad. 
So guys, I'm going to wrap it up right here. Thank you so much for shopping with me. I hope I'm doing a good job with this. This one's going to be pretty quick. So I got one more place to get to. So guys, please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Let me know down there in the comments how I'm doing. Uh, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, every Monday night we have Mother Tucker's uh, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern on my channel. Fantastic finds every Wednesday, 8 p.m. on my channel. So guys, thanks for shopping with me.